When it comes to hand cleaners, there's a huge difference in price, but is there really a difference in performance? Well, let's find out. In the first test, we'll see which hand cleaner is the best at removing tar. Then we'll compare the performance at removing adhesive. Finally, we'll see how they perform at breaking down oil and grease. At a price of $10 for 96 ounces, or approximately 10 cents per ounce, is this Force 5 hand cleaner. Heavy duty citrus based hand cleaner containing pumice. Contains skin conditioners to keep hands smooth and conditioned. Easily removes dirt, ink, paint, grease, grime, resins, and tar. And a the Force 5 is pretty runny and gritty, but it's not oily or greasy. The Force 5 is made in USA. I bought brand new cleaning cloths. I'll cut them into four pieces and then saturate them in some pretty dirty used motor oil. The oil is pretty dark and this should definitely leave a stain. The purpose of this test is to compare the ability of the hand cleaners to actually break down the oil. The pumice and other abrasives won't do much to help in this test. I'll first apply a generous dose of each product on both sides of the oily rag. I'll then wipe away any excess hand cleaner. I'll then fill the jar with cold water until it reaches the 12 ounce mark. And the Force 5 has already gone to work on the oil and there's a film at the top of the jar. Let's see how well the Force 5 works after 30 seconds with the paint can shaker. And 30 seconds of vigorous shaking is finally up. The water is a little murky and the Force 5 has definitely gone to work on the oily rag. At a price of $19 for a gallon or about 15 cents per ounce is this Gojo Natural Orange. Just like the Force 5, the Gojo contains pumice. It claims it can remove dirt, oil, grease, and paint. And the Gojo Natural Orange seems to have about the same consistency as the Force 5. It's a little gritty, but it's not too oily. And the Gojo is made in USA. And the Gojo Natural Orange is pretty easy to work with, but it's also pretty gritty. Just like the Force 5, the Gojo has already gone to work breaking down the oil. And 30 seconds of shaking is over. The Force 5 is on the left, and the Gojo Natural Orange is on the right. And the fluid inside the Force 5 looks a little bit darker, but the color of the hand cleaner might be a factor. At a price of $21 for a gallon, or about 16 cents per ounce, is this Zep TKO. It claims to be solvent-free. Contains pumice to scrub away tough soils. It also contains lanolin to leave hands feeling soft. The Zep is made in USA. And the Zep is designed to work with a special dispenser, but I didn't purchase it. And the Zep has a little higher viscosity than the previous two brands, and it does feel fairly gritty. And the Zep TKO seems pretty pasty, sort of like adding frosting to a cake. Now I'm getting hungry. Just like the previous two brands, the Zep TKO seems to be going after the oil. Just looking at the fluid color, the Zep doesn't seem to have done as well at breaking down the oil. At a price of $15 for 72 ounces, or 21 cents per ounce, is this Permatex. Just like the Zep, the Permatex is designed to be used with a dispenser. It contains both aloe and lanolin. And the Permatex has a pasty consistency and it feels greasy. Assembled in USA with US or global materials. And the Permatex seems pretty pasty and greasy and it doesn't smell nearly as pleasant as the previous three brands. And the Permatex doesn't seem to be breaking down the oil nearly as well as the other three brands. However, shaking the Permatex really helped and there's a layer of oil that's at the top of the container. At a price of $30 per gallon or 23 cents per ounce is this Permatex Fast Orange Extreme. Introducing our most powerful hand cleaner yet. Completely eliminates odors by encapsulating and neutralizing the smell of gasoline, oil, and other common scents. And the Fast Orange Extreme does have a pretty gel-like consistency. It does not feel oily or greasy. Assembled in USA with US and global materials. And the Permatex Orange Extreme looks a lot like the Gojo Natural Orange regarding texture. And the Permatex Orange Extreme seems to have done a little bit better job than the Permatex at attacking the oil. At a price of $30 for 120 ounces or 25 cents per ounce is this Nano Skin. It claims to be a magic hand soap. Non-solvent formula will not dry out or crack hands. It's fortified with supreme skin conditioners and with walnut shell scrubbers. It is designed to be used with a special dispenser. And the Nano Skin has a toothpaste-like consistency. It does not seem oily or greasy. Made in USA with globally sourced materials. And the Nano Skin smells and looks a lot like rubbing compound. And the Nano Skin is off to a pretty good start at breaking down some of the oil. And a Permatex Orange seems to have done a little bit better job at breaking down the oil. At a price of $23 for 4.5 pounds, or about 33 cents per ounce, is this Joe's All-Purpose Hand Cleaner. It contains lanolin. It's an all-purpose formula that's designed to remove grease, grime, printer ink, fish odors, and tar. Joe's Hand Cleaner is made in America. And a Joe's Hand Cleaner is pretty pasty, and it also seems pretty greasy. And a Joe's seems a lot like the DL Permatex, but the Joe's definitely smells better. There is a small oil layer at the top of the jar, and the Nano Skin seems a little bit darker than the Joe's. However, the Joe's has a pink color which makes it difficult to assess. At a price of $108 for 288 ounces, or 38 cents per ounce, is this Snap-on brand. The hand cleaner does contain pumice. This hand cleaner is supposed to remove grease, paint, oil, tar, grime, gum, adhesives, carbon black, putty, shellac, resins, inks, and more. It also conditions and protects hands against drying and cracking. The Snap-on is designed to be used with a dispenser. It's very pasty, somewhat oily 
swirly, but it's not very gritty. The Snap-on hand cleaner is made in USA. The texture of the Snap-on hand cleaner makes it pretty easy to work with. And the Snap-on is beginning to break down the oil. The fluid inside the Snap-on jar seems quite a bit darker than the Joe's. At a price of $35 for 85 ounces, or about 41 cents per ounce, is this Zolex Cherry. The Zolex is designed to be used with a dispenser. Includes a walnut husk hand scrub to naturally scrub dirt, grease, stain, and paint. This hand cleaner smells a lot like cherry cough medicine. The Zolex does have a little bit of a gritty texture, and it's also a little greasy. The Zolex is made in USA with globally sourced materials. And the Zolex not only smells like cough syrup, it also has about the same consistency. And the Zolex has done by far the best job yet at attacking the oily rag. And the Zolex's cherry color is making it very challenging to compare with the Snap-on. At a price of $8 for 18 ounces, or 44 cents per ounce, is this Tubbo Scrub. It claims to remove tough grime without water. Their biodegradable formula will not clog drains. Contains lanolin, aloe, and vitamin E. The Tubbo Scrub has a pretty gel-like consistency. It's also pretty gritty, but it does not feel oily. The Tubbo Scrub is made in USA. The Tubbo Scrub is up against some pretty tough competition. And there's a small amount of oil at the top of the container, but not nearly as much as the Zolex. And the Zolex definitely seems to have done a better job of breaking down the oil. At a price of $35 for 64 ounces, or 55 cents per ounce, is this Full Bore Extreme Green. It claims it can remove grease, paint, crud, and even filth. They also claim this hand cleaner can kill odors. No harsh solvents, but it does contain moisturizers. And the full bore seems pretty dry and gritty, but it is designed to be applied to wet hands. The full bore extreme green is made in USA. Following the manufacturer's instructions, I've added a little bit of water to the full bore to give it the right texture to go to work on the oily rag. Just like the Zolex, the full bore has done an excellent job of breaking down the oil. And it's green versus pink, and I'm looking forward to rinsing away the hand cleaner to see which brand did the best. At a price of $9 for 14 ounces, or 64 cents per ounce, is this Gojo Original. It's designed to remove oil, grease, and tar. I remember using Gojo Original many years ago. And the Gojo Original is very much a paste, and it feels pretty greasy. The Gojo is made in USA. And the Gojo Original seems to smell about like the DL Permatex. And the Gojo did break down the oil a little, but not nearly as much as some of the other brands. And the full bore has a pretty substantial layer of oil at the top of the container, and the Gojo doesn't seem to have done quite as well. At a price of $24 for 32 ounces, or 75 cents per ounce, is this Grip Clean. This is a dirt-infused soap. Removes grease, paint, diesel, and more. And the Grip Clean is made in USA. And the Grip Clean is indeed very gritty, and it seems a lot like toothpaste. And the Grip Clean reminds me a lot of the Nano Skin with its gritty texture and pasty consistency. And there's a small layer of oil at the top of the container. There are a lot of suds inside the Grip Clean container, so we'll have to check back on this once the suds settle down. At a price of $14 for 16 ounces, or 88 cents per ounce is this Eagle Grit. No solvents and no pumice. It's a detergent-based formula with soft scrubbers. It's designed to be hand and drain friendly. They claim it removes virtually all substances. The Eagle Grit is made in USA. And the Eagle Grit does indeed seem very gritty. It also seems to have a toothpaste-like consistency. And the Eagle Grit feels a lot like the Grip Clean, but a little bit less gritty. And the Eagle Grit has really gone after the oil. Just like the Grip Clean, there are a lot of suds inside the Eagle Grit container, but the fluid does look a lot darker. Let's compare the hand cleaners to this dot platinum which calls for one tablespoon per gallon of water. I'll be a little too generous and I'll add a half teaspoon to less than 20 ounces of water. And the dish detergent does seem to have done a pretty decent job of going after the oil. And the water inside the dish detergent looks pretty dark. After shaking the jars for 30 seconds, I've allowed another 30 minutes of time to soak. And this is going to be very interesting as some of the hand cleaners seem to have set themselves apart from most of the competition. So I'll go ahead and drain out the quart jar and I'll wring out as much liquid as possible. I'll then go ahead and refill the quart jars with clean water. Let's go ahead and shake the jars for another 30 seconds. And the cloth seems very well rinsed after 30 seconds of shaking. And the oil cloth is on the left and the cloth cleaned by Force 5 is on the right. And the Force 5 did a great job at removing the oil. Force 5 is on the left and Gojo Orange is on the right. The Force 5 looks a little bit better but we'll know more once all the cloths are completely dry. Comparing the Gojo to the Zep, the Zep seems to have done a little bit better job. And the Zep definitely TKO'd the DL Permatex in his side-by-side -side comparison. DL Permatex is on the left and the Permatex Extreme is on the right. And the Extreme definitely did a better job. And the Permatex Extreme and the Nano Skin are very close. While Perm Permatex Extreme did a great job, Joe's looks like it did a little bit better at this point. Joe's did a great job, but the Snap-on seems to have done an even better job with the oil. While the Snap-on seems the best so far, the Zolex definitely seems to have done better. Zolex is on the left, and Tubbo Scrub is on the right. And the Zolex is going to be very difficult for any of the hand cleaners to beat. And the Tubbo Scrub made a great effort, but the full bore did quite a bit better. And the Gojo Original just did not do nearly as well as the full bore. And the Grip Clean did a better job at cleaning the cloth compared to the Gojo Original. And Eagle Grit did a 
great job at removing the oil. Definitely looks better than the Grip Clean. And the dish detergent just did not perform nearly as well as the Eagle Grip. Let's go ahead and allow the test pieces to dry overnight and we'll check back on this later in the video. Have you ever had roof cement get on your hands? This stuff is very difficult to remove. So I'll spread this tar onto the board and then I'll allow it to cure overnight. In the next test, let's compare the performance of these hand cleaners using this tester that I put together. I'll spread the hand cleaners across a clean cloth and then I'll face the cloth downward so that it can make contact with the test piece. I experimented with many combinations of grease including use of grease with graphite oil. This is a really messy blend. Just about all the hand cleaners call for using water as a rinse. Once I rinsed off the test area on my hand, I found that judging the results was way too close and subjective. I also found that it was nearly impossible to remove all of one hand cleaner from my hand before moving on to the next brand. Instead of using my hand, I put together test pieces using textured rubber strips. I made a lot of tire repairs over the years, and this tire repair adhesive is nearly impossible to remove from the hands. So I applied the tire adhesive to test pieces and then allowed the adhesive to fully cure. And the tester arm, along with an additional 5 pounds of weight, is applying about 10 pounds of downward force on the test piece. Once the test piece is in place, I'll make five back and forth passes. I need to rinse the test piece so that we can get a better look at it. And the Force 5 did remove a little bit of the tire adhesive, but there's a lot more work that needs to be done. And the Gojo Natural Orange has a pretty gritty texture which should help on this test. After five back and forth passes and a quick rinse with water, the Gojo definitely performed a little bit better than the Force 5. In a previous showdown on degreasers, Zep performed well. And the Zep is also performing well on this showdown and has done a better job than the Gojo at attacking the tire glue. And the DL Permatex smells quite a bit more powerful than most of the other hand cleaners. No fruity or sweet smells with this stuff. And the Permatex has definitely done the best job so far at breaking down the tire cement. And the Permatex Orange Extreme feels a lot more gritty and doesn't smell like a chemical factory. And the gritty texture of the Permatex Extreme did a pretty good job of attacking the adhesive. However, the DL Permatex did a better job on this test. And the Nano Skin also has a pretty gritty texture. And the Nano Skin performed well, but the Permatex Orange Extreme definitely did a better job. And the Joe's hand cleaner seems pretty pasty and greasy, which probably did not help on this test. However, the Joe's still performed well and did a little bit better than the Nano Skin. And the Snap-on hand cleaner has a pretty gritty texture. And the Snap-on is on the left and the Joe's is on the right. And the Snap-on just didn't have enough grit to outperform the Joe's this time. And the Zolex uses walnut husk as an abrasive to help scrub the hands. And the Zolex has definitely performed quite a bit better than the Snap-on. And the Tubbo Scrub has a pretty gritty feel to it. And the Tubbo Scrub is on the left and the Zolex is on the right. And the Zolex seems to have done a little bit better job than the Tubbo Scrub. And the full board might just be the grittiest hand cleaner in the lineup, which should really help. And the full board did a better job of attacking the tire adhesive compared to the Tubbo Scrub. Just like the DL Permatex, the Gojo Original has a pretty strong chemical smell, but it doesn't have a gritty texture like most of the other hand cleaners. And the Gojo just did not perform quite as well as the full bore. And the Grip Clean claims to be a dirt-infused hand cleaner. And the hand cleaner does feel very gritty, but it didn't perform quite as well as the Gojo at removing the adhesive. Just like the Grip Clean, the Eagle Grit has a pretty sandy texture to it. And both the Grip Clean and the Eagle Grit really struggled on this test. While assessing performance is highly subjective, the DL Permatex definitely did the best job. Zep finished in second place, Gojo Natural Orange third, and Zolex fourth place. And the roofing tar has had over 24 hours to cure and it's no longer gooey. I'll use this brush attachment in a drill on the lowest speed setting. I'll use just the weight of the drill on top of the hand cleaners. I'll add plenty of hand cleaner to allow the brush and the hand cleaner to dissolve the tar. This test will last right at 10 seconds. And the Force 5 definitely went to work attacking the roofing cement. There's a lot of tar on the bristles of the brush. I'll wash away the brush with soap and water between testing each of the brands. And the Gojo Orange performed well on the previous test and it did a great job on this test. And the brush accumulated quite a bit of tar. Looking at the test area, the brush cut through the tar all the way down to the wood. The Gojo Orange definitely did a better job. And the Zep did a great job on the last test and it's definitely doing some damage to the tar. And it's very close between the Gojo and the Zep TKO, but both did a great job on this test. And the DL Permatex has a strong chemical smell and the ingredients in this hand cleaner appear to be well designed for attacking tar. And it's very close between the Permatex and the Zep TKO. And the Permatex Extreme is definitely doing some damage to the tar. And the first five brands have all performed very well but the Permatex Extreme may have done the best. And the Nano Skin has a pretty gritty texture but it's going to take a lot more than gritty texture to attack the tar. And the bristles on the brush really don't look too dark. Unfortunately, the Nano Skin really struggled in this test.
And the Joes performed well on the last test, and it's definitely dissolving the tar on this test. And the Joes performed a lot better than the Nano Skin on this test, but not quite as well as some of the other brands. And the Snap-on really struggled on the last test, and the Snap-on seems to be struggling quite a bit once again. And very little tar accumulated on the brush. Unfortunately, the Snap-on wasn't able to cut into the tar. And the Zolex did a great job on the last test, and it's dissolving the roofing tar very quickly. And the brush is very dark from all the tar, and the Zolex did a lot better job than the Snap-on. And the Tubbo Scrub really struggled in the previous test on the tire adhesive and it seems to be losing the battle with the roofing tar. And there just isn't very much tar on the brush. Unfortunately, the Tubbo Scrub really struggled compared to most of the other brands. I've added some water to the full bore to give it a pasty consistency. And there is some tar on the brush and it performed a little bit better than the Tubbo Scrub but not quite as well as some of the other brands. And the Gojo has one of the strongest chemical smells compared to the other brands. And those chemicals are definitely going to work on the roofing tar. There's also quite a bit of tar on the brush. And the Gojo did a great job on dissolving the tar and is definitely in the top five so far. And the Group Clean struggled on the previous test, but it seems to be doing a little bit better on the tar. And there's quite a bit of tar on the brush and it removed quite a bit of tar from the test area. And the Eagle Grit performed almost the same as the Grip Clean on the previous round of competition. However, the Eagle Grit just doesn't seem to be attacking the tar quite as well as some of the other brands. Unfortunately, the Eagle Grit just did not perform quite as well as the Grip Clean on this test. Assessing performance is highly subjective, but the Permatex Extreme came out on top. However, the Gojo Original, Gojo Natural Orange, Zep TKO, and DL Permatex also performed extremely well. Assessing performance is highly subjective, so I've had a couple of friends come over to help me grade the results. And there's a big difference between first place and last place. And coming in last place is the Joes. Unfortunately, it just didn't do nearly as well as some of the other brands. Finishing in 14th place is the DL Permatex. Finishing just behind the DL Permatex is the Grip Clean. And the Gojo Original finished behind the Grip Clean. When it comes to cutting grease, the dish detergent actually beats some of the hand cleaners. The Permatex Orange claims to work better than the DL Permatex, and it definitely did a better job. And the Snap-on finished in the middle of the pack, but it is pretty close with some of the other brands. And the Zep TKO performed just a little bit better than average. And finishing in 7th place is the Nano Skin. And the Gojo Natural Orange finished in 6th place. And the Tubbo Scrub barely edged out the Gojo. And Eagle Grit did a very good job finishing in 4th place. Finishing in 3rd place is the very affordable Force 5. And the Full Bore finished in 2nd place barely ahead of the Force 5. The 2nd, 3rd, and 4th finishers were pretty close, but the Zolex had a clear win. So which hand cleaner is the best? The results are organized from least expensive to most expensive based upon price per ounce. I've converted raw performance into an A through F grading scale to help make more sense of the results. And the Gojo Natural Orange, Zep TKO, Permatex Extreme, and Zolex Cherry earned A's in all three categories of testing. When it comes to consistency, grittiness, and other qualities, personal preferences vary quite a bit. After I finished all the testing, I applied some hand cleaners to my hands and compared their performance. Some people may prefer a very thick and greasy hand cleaner. However, I much prefer a hand cleaner with a lower viscosity that wipes away quickly and easily just in case I'm not able to rinse my hands with water right away. For that reason, I really like the texture and consistency of the Permatex Extreme the most. It's not too gritty, does a great job of attacking the grease, and it wipes away easily. I also like the Gojo Natural Orange quite a bit, but it is a little grittier than the Permatex Extreme. Finally, I really like the Zolex. It does a great job of attacking grease quickly, and it doesn't seem as greasy as some of the other brands. I spent a lot of time reading comments, and all the brands tested were requested by viewers. So if you have other brands you'd like to see tested, I hope you leave a comment. Also, all the videos in this channel are viewer suggested, so if you have a video idea, I also hope you leave a comment on that as well. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care, and I look forward to next time.